Welcome to Grow Joyfully. Well, as you can see, we are out in the pasture garden the same day, and we have the huge task of trying to get as many of the green tomatoes off as we can. Um, my daughter was able to find a few that had started blushing. Here's a couple here. But for the most part, they are green, green, green. So, this video is going to be um, about working out here in the pasture garden. We just took care of the animals and fed and watered them. And, um, yeah, it's kind of cold and windy. And I just don't want my garden to go away. And this is one of the reasons why. It's too pretty. The Tithonia is just huge. And we still have little watermelons growing. Some pink squash. There's the pink squash. Um, she still has some of her sunflowers growing. One loofah. Just one little loofah. Better than none, huh? And I need to get these Blauhilda beans picked. If they're too big, I'm just going to leave them so they can fall to the ground and volunteer again. So, I guess I better get going. We have a lot to do. We put a tarp over the rooster's cage so he can be warmer and drier. And I'm going to see if my husband can cut some boards and put them up against his cage too. Because he's usually in the barn there. But we have a different use for the barn this year. And we won't be able to put him in there. But we will make sure that he's snug and cozy and near his girls. The reason we have him is for breeding purposes when we need to have new chicks. I don't like him being with the flock the whole time because um, I don't want to eat fertilized eggs. And there are some times that we may not get the eggs that one day and I, I don't want that surprise. <laughs> and for the consideration of my hens too. So, we keep our rooster warm and cozy but he is separated from his from his girls. This will be our last dinner of Blauhilde beans and any beans and any zucchini and anything fresh. So we're going to really enjoy them tonight. Here's some sun coming through the leaves up there. There's a whole bunch of green tomatoes here. I'm not going to make it a very long video today because I really just need to get in here and cut these all down. I'm going to save some of the vines for them, some of them that I can. It's a lot of work. My daughter's got to get her flowers. Here's a bunch of pink brandy wines. Very difficult. Here's some German queens that don't look that great, but there they are. And take a look at that dark sky. I think we're going to get rained on. I've just got to hurry. A Dr. White cheese was able to get ripe. I'm just going to fill up this wheelbarrow with all the tomatoes I can, whether they're ripe or not. Here are some orange jazz that didn't ripen up. Last year they were so prolific. This year they definitely got a slow start. And I'm going to take in what I can of the giant crimson. And here is a Kellogg's breakfast hiding back there and down there. Um, look how much I've got just in this wheelbarrow. And yeah, we've only done a couple rows. But we're working on it. Anna Russians, there's just so many of them. This is so painful. I don't know why they develop and, and uh, mature so much later. Here is a big rainbow and a bunch barred boar. 
got such interesting coloring. I think I will grow this next year. Well, I'm going to shoot the ending of this video before it's ended because we might just get caught in the rain and have to run for the house. So I want to have this um, video properly ended. Say goodbye to my garden. Look at all my beauties. This is the blue cream berries. Look at all those still. So many of them. And this is the one we planted. This is the row we planted late. And um, they all fell over on their stakes because stakes don't work. Cattle panels work. So we want to cover these over with some tarps, but I still don't think that's going to work. I'm just going to come through here. Here's a Cherokee purple. Just going to come through here and just get the really big ones. There's this one. This one. Look at all the black beauties. There's so many of them. And then there's that one over there. And all the cherry tomatoes. Well, it looks like with the rain, they all split. I could still use them for sauce. So I'm going to just keep working here. But, um, like I say, I'm shooting the end before I'm finished because we might have to just run in the house. Well, that's looking better there. Maybe it'll pass us by and buy us a couple more hours. Okay, well, nonetheless, if I need to, I will use this ending. So you take care of yourself. Thanks for hanging out with me on the last day of my beautiful garden hard to say goodbye. Have a lovely day and don't forget to do it joyfully. We'll see you next time on this sad day. Thanks for stopping by. Just wanted to show you what we ended up with. This is one of them. Uh, there's still a lot left. A lot. And here's another one. Another wheelbarrow full plus our lunch. There are um, watermelons, different kinds of gourds, and there's still a lot left. Of course, all the pumpkins, all the cherry tomatoes that we just can't get. It is so hard to leave it, but I'm going to have to. We did our very best been a pretty good tomato year. Doesn't seem like it was quite as good as last year, but we have done our best. And take a look at my hands, and my hands tell the story. Have a lovely day, and don't forget to do it joyfully. We'll see you next time.